workers have been hard at work for more than two years now, replacing the old Interstate 5 Willamette River bridges. Hi, I'm Jill Smith, Public Information Officer with the Oregon Department of Transportation. Today we're on site at the Interstate 5 Willamette River Bridge in Eugene and Springfield. This is the first in a series of videos that we're going to celebrate the people behind the scenes, the people who are hard at work every day, rain or shine. Today we will focus on the drilling of the shafts that will encase the concrete and steel piers that support the bridge columns and arches. This is one of the first major tasks in building a new bridge. Once the drill is positioned, the drilling takes one to two days per shaft to reach the average 35 feet to reach bedrock. I'm here today with John Joslin with DBM Contractors. Let's walk us through a little bit about this whole process of what it takes to drill a shaft for these new bridges. Well, the bridges here are uh, constructed in rock sockets. So we're placing a 25 to 30 foot rock socket. Uh, requires several different changes in tooling and a good sized drill rig. Tell me a little bit about how far down are we going today on this this particular shaft? The shaft here goes approximately 28 feet from where we're standing in the rock. So what type of material do you normally go through between a riverbed and getting down to the solid rock that you need to put the bridge on? On well, this spot here, they've excavated out down to the rock and we're starting right on the rock in this location. Some of the locations here we're drilling through anywhere 15 to 30 feet of overburden, which is uh, pretty much mud, sand, silt, uh, debris that has been collected over the years. You've been with your company for well over 30 years. What does it take to get to your position or like we have the operator up in the crane? We go through apprenticeship training back when we were younger and didn't have gray hair. And, uh, then you kind of work yourself up through the trade and a little bigger piece of equipment and the skills start taking over as far as the direction the uh, person wants to go with their career. Great. Now I saw earlier you were doing some welding over there. Is that another part of the job that you have to have welding experience or is that something you just like picked up along the way? It's, uh, I'm certified as a welder also, but it's something that's part of the job. Uh, as far as our work goes, we deal with a lot of steel. What does it take to be certified in welding? Lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it, folks. It takes a lot of practice to do this type of construction. Thank you, John, very much. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit about drill shafting and that you gained insight on what goes into making the foundation of every bridge. I'm Jill Smith with the Oregon Department of Transportation, and I look forward to seeing you next time.